In this tutorial, I will show you two different ways you can create product mockups in Affinity Photo. To start, we're going to do what I would consider the easy way, and that is by using templates. So most templates you will come across will be Photoshop PSD files, but thankfully for us, Affinity Photo can work with PSDs. However, most mockup templates use smart objects, so there is a setting that we have to enable in Affinity Photo for them to work. So inside Affinity Photo, you just have to come up to Edit, down to Settings, and then inside the General tab, all you have to do is look for the Import PSD Smart Objects where possible and make sure that is checked. Then all you have to do is find a mockup template, and I'll leave a few places that you can find templates in the description. Just make sure you check the licenses before you use them. So we can just drag the PSD into Affinity Photo to open it. Then you'll see that in the Layers panel, you have a smart object called Input Your Art. To replace the art, we just have to double click on the layer to open it. From there, you just have to import your design and resize to fit it. Then once you're happy with it, we can click back into the mockup tab and see our design. For this one, we can also come down into the background group and change the color of the background using the fill layer. Just click on the background color fill layer and then come over to the toolbar to select whichever color you would like for your background. For this one, I used the color picker to pick a color from my design, and then I just adjusted the color a little bit until I got something that I liked. And with that, you have a mock-up completed, but what if there isn't a template for what you need? This is where doing everything manually comes in, and this one will work for just about anything. To do everything manually, we will first import our product image, then we can import the design image and move and resize it into place, but you don't have to rotate it yet. With the design layer selected, come over and select the perspective tool. Then just take the pins and move it roughly into place. I would recommend having a little bit of the design past the edges of the cup or whatever your product is. Then we can come over and hide the design layer or you can just reduce the opacity down to something to where you can see the product behind your design. Then come over and select the pen tool. Then with the pen tool, you just want to go through and select the edges of whatever product you have as best as you can. Once you are done, you can come up and hit mask. Then we can show that layer and bring the opacity back up to 100% if you haven't already. Lastly, just come up to blend modes and select multiply. And once you've done that, you have created a manual mockup in Affinity Photo. So now we can move on to the bag. Now for the bag, the process is very similar. After you import your design, you'll want to use the Mesh Warp tool instead of the Perspective tool. Then from there, you can pin it into place just like the Perspective tool, and then you can use the Curve Handles to shape it into place and make it fit onto the bag. And then if you need, you can double click along the edges to add a few more pins to really help shape it onto the bag. Then the process is the exact same as the coffee cup. Hide your layer or reduce the opacity, select your pen tool, and then select the edges of the bag. Once you have your edges selected, come up and then hit mask when you are done, then bring the layer back to full opacity and select multiply. And with that, you guys are done. Thank you guys so much for watching.